Hey family, welcome to So Easy with Shelby and Gabby. I'm your host, Kay Stewart, and my mission is to show you funny, easy designs that you can do from home. So grab some fabric, grab me some scissors, and let's begin. Today, we're actually gonna do a two-part video. And the reason I'm doing a two-part video is because I may actually pair the two together. I'm not sure yet, but it's a possibility. So the first part, which is this video, we're gonna do a halter top. And halter tops are really cute. I don't know what area you're in right now, but the area that I'm in is hot. So shorts and a halter top is a perfect outfit for an evening out, um, maybe going to wine tasting, or maybe seeing an outside concert. It's perfect for a lot of things. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna do a halter top, and I'm also gonna do some shorts. But the shorts will be the second part of the video. Like I said, this is gonna be a two-part video. And the reason I'm keeping them separate is so that when you want to come back and just do shorts, you don't have to worry about trying to skip past the heart to piece. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the strip that we're going to use as a tie for around our neck with our top. I'm going to cut about a four inch strip at the bottom of the material. I'll show you just what I mean. So you want to go to the bottom of your fabric. And like I said, you're gonna take about, I'm using about a four inch strip. You can do it as thick as you want it. I don't want my tie to be that thick. Four inches is thick enough. I'm only gonna do about a one inch casing. So I'm gonna cut straight up on the end of the fabric. Now, there you have it. See, this is the strip that we're gonna use and this strip is a strip that's actually going to be the strip that's going to go around our neck. And the reason I have mine so long, because I want my strings to hang down the back of my back. You can make your string, you can make your tie shorter, but like I said, I want mine long so it hangs down the back of my shirt. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out this pattern that we've created. We're back, and the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your fabric is facing each other. And as you can see, I have mine already laid out, and the right sides together are facing. And you want to take your t-shirt, and I have my t-shirt here. The first thing we want to do, as you notice, this t-shirt looks nothing like a halter top. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to adjust our top so that it is a halter top. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. The first thing we're going to do is, as you can see at the top where we have our sleeves, that's perfect. So halter tops are normally have no sleeves. So first thing we need to do is get rid of, normally they have no shoulder. So we're going to get rid of the shoulder. And the way you do that is just you fold it down like that. I'll do this side just to show you again. You're just going to fold it. And that way you still have your arm holes here, arm holes here. But we're going to take this a little step further because I don't want this much neck on my top. So I'm going to take this part and I'm going to fold it down again over to the collar. Now, I'm going to do it again. Take this side. I'm going to, let me zoom in just a little bit so you can see what I mean. Okay, so again, you're going to just take the top part of that shoulder and you're going to fold it down near the neckline. Then that's going to keep you your armhole part here. Or you can see that's where your arm is going to go for your whole top. But again, we're going to take it one step further. So you're going to take the collar and you're going to put it down. And you're going to just line it up nicely like this. So now what we have is you have your whole top pattern pretty much made out of the t-shirt. And we're going to do that. And remember, you want to make sure you give yourself enough seam allowance on the side so that you have room to sew it and you're also if the shirt is not as long as you want your hot top to be you want to make sure that you have enough room at the bottom of the material to give yourself the length that you want i am going to make my shirt just a little longer than the green shirt here um but not too much longer but i am going to make it a little longer so like i said you want to just make sure you give yourself enough length and enough seam allowance after you've cut it so that you can make sure that the hot top fits the way that you want and the reason I need mine a little longer because I like to wear hip huggers and I don't like all of my backside out. So I want to make sure that my shirt actually fits inside my pants. So again, I'm going to probably go down probably two or three inches under this and then I'll give myself another seam allowance to cut it. But again, just to recap on the top, you want to just take your shoulder. This is what your t-shirt looks like. You're going to take this and you're going to fold it down 
so that if you wanted to have that much neck, you could, but I don't want that much neck. And that's going to give you that armhole there. And then you're going to take your collar and you're just going to fold it down onto the seam of the collar. And that's going to give you this here. And like I said, you want to make sure you give yourself enough room here because this is going to be the casing where I have my tie. And we're going to make the tie as well. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut and we'll be right back. Okay, now we're going to cut out our pattern top. And like I said, you want to make sure that you give yourself five, at least 518 allowance when you want. Remember, this is your armhole. So you're not going to sew this down, but we are going to sew from here to here once we actually finish cutting it out and from here to here. And then we'll also do the neckline. And I'll show you just how we do that. So we're going to go ahead and cut this out. I'm giving myself enough seam allowance on the side so that I can cut it. And I'm going to use my serger, which is going to give me a nice finished edge. But you want to make sure that, like I said, you give yourself enough seam allowance. I don't want my shirt to be too tight, so I'm giving myself a little extra room here. But again, and I'm going to make mine a little longer at the bottom because I want to make sure that it fits. But you're going to finish cutting this out. Just giving myself a couple more inches at the bottom so I know that my shirt is long enough. I'm going to cut straight across here. And your shirt is all cut out now. Okay, so we're going to take our garment and we're going to start pinning it so that we can get it ready for the sewing machine. And as you can see, we're going to start from the top of the armpit right there. We're going to work all the, way, all the way to the bottom of the garment. I've already started pinning it, and I've already pinned the other side. But again, you just want to pin it down so that your garment is not moving when you take it over to the sewing machine. And sometimes I don't pin, but I'll always pin when I'm doing the video so that you will see the benefits of pinning your, um, your garments. It'll really keep things together when you're trying to sew. And again, as you can see, I've pinned it down. Have my pins in there like that. And that's all the way from, again, the top of the armpit to the bottom of the garment. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take care of the casing at the neck hole. And what we want to do is our casing is going to be a, probably about a quarter of an inch. So you want to make sure that this casing is large enough for that to get into it. And it's going to be a little tricky when you're doing the casing for your neck hole. And the reason so is with this material is a stretch. So it's just kind of moving wiggly wobbly all around. But that's okay. Like again, you're just going to make sure that you have enough room for your tie that's going to go inside of here. And it's going to hold in the string that's going to keep our shirt in place. So again, you want to just take it down. I'm doing mine about an inch or two inches because again, the tie is going to be small. And I'm going to, and as you can see, I'm pinning it here for you. So again, you just want to fold it down like this. And I'm starting in the middle because there's a round hole 
which means your shirt is just going to have to go at an angle. So what I'm doing is I started at the middle. I put my pin there. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. I started in the middle of the neck hole. I have my pin here with about an inch and a half of casing. Then I'm going to take another pin closer to this as I'm getting closer to the edge. And I'm going to pin it down like that. And you're going to go all the way to the end. And you're going to do this on both garments. I mean, not both garments. You want to do this on the front and the back side of the shirt. And again, as you can see, I'm using the fabric here. And I'm putting the pins in there. And I have about an inch and a half of casing. And this is exactly where my tie is going to go through. And it's going to come out the other end. And then you're going to do the same thing for this neck hole. Again, you want to make sure I start in the middle. And that way I know that they'll all be even. And you're just going to work your way around until you get to the end of the side. And again, you're going to take it and you're going to pin it down. And then you're going to do that one there. And again, as you can see, once you're done, this is what it's going to look like. And it looks like that on this side, but it looks like this on this side. And again, like I said, your casing is um, This is just the casing for the necktie that we're going to make. And your tie is going to go through here. And then it'll go, it will meet this top as well. So you want to do the same thing to this side of the shirt. Again, you want to fold it over like this. And I'm going to start again in the middle because like I said, it's a round hole so it's going to get kind of tricky. I'm going to pin, uh oh, my pin is crooked. So I'm going to pin it down. Like this. And then you gotta go all the way around until you get to the ends. I'm gonna go here. This is the end. So you wanna get that. And you wanna pin it down. And again, like I said, you're gonna do both. This is the way you're doing both sides. So we're gonna take this to the sewing machine. I'm going to make a stitch here all the way across until I get to the other side. And that's going, like I said, that's going to be for the tie that I'm going to show you how to put together. So, again, you have two neck holes that you're going to go to the sewing machine. You're going to sew it down like that so you can make the casing for the shirt. And then you will also want to go from the armpit all the way down to the end of the garment. Right there. You're going to sew those shut. And then I'll come back and show you what's next. In fact, before we leave, the next thing you want to do is you want to grab that piece of material that we cut earlier to make the necktie. And we're going to fold it, fabric facing down, facing in itself. And you're going to take a pen. I'm just taking a pen right now to show you. But you're going to go and you're going to go right across this. You're going to go right through the middle. And then... Bring that back from the sewing machine and I'll show you the next steps. But again, you want to make sure that you're going straight across there. And then I'll show you how to make the tie so that we can put it inside the casing. But again, you can pin there if you want to. Take it across, take it to your machine and I'll come back and show you what's next. Okay, I'm back and the hem is done and our armholes are finished as well is here. Now the last thing we want to do is we got to get the ties through the casings on our top. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that tie that we have with that safety pin on it and you're going to take your safety pin and you want to go straight through the hole at the top on the side right there. We're going to take our safety pin like this and we're going to go through that casing just like that. You want to push it on through and you can pull it but you want to get that casing all the way in and remember I said I'm only going to have one 
I'm going to have my ties go to one side of my neck where I'm going to tie my halter. So you're going to get all the way to the end of this one. Like that. And we're going to pull it through some. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to pick it up on the other end of the other side. So we're going to pick it up here. And as you can see, I just got it. I'm going to open up this hole. And I'm going to put the safety through, safety pin through this side. And again, we're going to push it through like that. I'm going to keep on so you get to the other hole. So I'm going to do that all the way to the end. Like that. Now, as you see, I'm out the hole. So now our shirt has the towel inside. Voila! I'm just gonna fix that. Okay, so as you can see, we have the top, and there's your armhole there. And on this side here is where we're gonna be able to tie it when we actually put the shirt on. So I'm going to take this over to the twin and let you see what it looks like. I'll be right back. This is our finished product and I absolutely love it. As you can see, it's really streamlined. It's going to look really good on me. This is actually my twin. So it's fitting her just like I want it to fit me. As you can see, there has a, there's our casing here where we put our tie in. I wanted my tie on the side, so there it is instead of on the front. You're going to also, as you can see, there is the back looks really really good like i said i cannot wait to put this on and this is part one of a two-part series and the next part is going to be how to make some shorts and i didn't want to put the two videos together because like i said if you want to come back and just do this top then you have this video to do so but make sure that you hit the like button and you hit the subscribe button at the bottom and i will see you for part two and i hope that this was so easy with shelby and gabby see you next time